This must be a great place to spend the night. Look at all the great animals. Sheep and horses, cows and owls. Look at all the great animals. Sheep and horses, cows and owls. Bucket. B. U. C. K. E. T. A bucket or pail is a handy tool to have around the farm. It can be filled with water from the well, eggs from the chicken coop, milk from the barn, or vegetables from the garden. Buckets are also useful for carrying rocks, dirt, and sand. Far Farmer. F. A. R. M. E. R. Farmers are the people who run the farm. Farmers work the garden, plow the fields, and grow the fruit. They also take care of the cows, chickens, pigs, horses, and sheep on a farm. They often live right on the farm in the farmhouse. Hat. H. A. T. Hats help keep us cool by keeping the hot sun off of our faces and heads. This hat has a nice wide edge around it, known as a brim. Wide brims keep the sun out of our eyes and off of our necks. Manger. M-A-N-G-E-R. The manger is a box that holds hay for the livestock. That's what farmers call their cows and horses. When the livestock are hungry, they can eat out of the manger. Calf. C-A-L-F. A baby cow is called a calf. A calf can stand up right away after it is born. The calf will drink milk from its mother, from a bottle, or from a milk pail. After about one week, the calf will start eating hay. C-O-W Cow This kind of dairy cow is called a Holstein. She is easy to recognize by the black and white markings on her hide. She provides 6 to 12 gallons of milk a day for the farmer's family. To make that much milk, she has to eat about 50 pounds of food every day. A baby cow is called a calf. Silo. S-I-L-O. A silo is the perfect place to store extra food for the farm animals. The food stored in the silo is called fodder or forage. Corn fodder includes the stalk, leaves, and kernels of the corn. Rope, R-O-P-E. Rope is often made from plants. Flax and hemp plants are the two most common plants used to make rope. Rope is strong and can be used to tie things together, to hold things in place, or to help lift heavy objects on a pulley. Go. Pulley, P-U-L-L-E-Y. The pulley is a useful tool for lifting heavy objects. It would be hard for the farmer to carry a big bale of hay up a ladder and into the loft. But with the pulley, the farmer can hook the rope to the bundle of hay, pull on the other end of the rope, and lift the hay up. Owl. O-W-L. Owls are nocturnal birds. That means they do most of their work at night and most of their resting during the day. Owls have very good eyesight for long distances, but they cannot see very well up close. Most owls don't build nests. Instead, they live inside of trees, burrows, or barns. Sheep. S-H-E-E-P. 
Farmers raise sheep for their thick wool fur, called a fleece. Like horses and cows, sheep like to eat grass. Sheep need pastures so they can eat and walk around. This is called grazing. At night and early morning, or when it rains, they stay inside the barn. I wonder if brown cows give chocolate milk. Moo? Milk. M. I. L. K. Dairy cows make the milk that we get in cartons and bottles from the grocery store. The milk is used for drinking, on top of dry cereal, and in lots of recipes. One favorite way to drink milk is with chocolate syrup. Milk pail. M. I. L. K. P. A. I. L. The milk pail is a low bucket. As the farmer milks the cow, the milk pail catches the cow's warm milk. The milk can then be poured into the milk can or taken into the farmhouse to drink. Cowbell. C O W B E L L. Cowbells are used to help farmers keep track of animals, like cows or sheep. If a cow wanders out of the barn or pasture, the farmer can easily find her. The cowbell makes a loud dinging noise, so it's easy for the farmer to hear lost animals even if they're far away. Milk can. M I L K C A N. A milk can is used to store and carry large amounts of milk. When the farmer is done milking the cow, he pours the milk from the milk pail into the milk can. Mm. Sheep make such a wonderful noise. Ba ba. Wow! Look at those beautiful woolly sheep! Carding brush. C A R D I N G B R U S H. Sheep have a very thick fleece. As they walk around the pasture, Weeds and dirt get into the fleece. Brushing through the thick fleece will remove the weeds and dirt. Fleece. F L E E C E. A sheep's wool coat is called a fleece. When the sheep gets a haircut, its fleece is used to make wool clothes, rugs, and blankets. U E W E. A U is a female sheep. This U recently had its fleece removed with clippers. Fleece is usually removed in the spring, which keeps the U nice and cool. This U now looks a little bit like a lamb, which is a baby sheep. Lamb. L A M B. 
Baby sheep are called lambs. This one has a very short coat of wool or fleece. Lambs love to run around and eat a lot of grains and grass. Female lambs grow up to be ewes. Male lambs grow up to be rams. Electric clippers. E L E C T R I C C L I P P E R S. Clippers are used for cutting or shaving. Sometimes clippers are used to shave the fur off of animals. When clippers are used on sheep, it is called shearing the sheep. A sheep's fur is called a fleece.